All right, guys, we are on nested loops. A nested loop is just a loop that's inside of another loop. It doesn't matter what kind of loop you're working with. It can be a while loop or a for loop or whatever. Here's an example. We'll create a loop to count the numbers one through 10. We'll count to 10 three times. So let's create a basic loop for now. Int i, I'll set this equal to be one. The condition will be i is less than or equal to 10 then I will increment i by 1. During each iteration, I will display whatever i is. Then I'll add a space. There. This loop will count up to 10. Just like that. So now I would like to count up to 10 three times. Well, I can stick this loop in another loop. So let's create the outer loop. 4, and i, I'll set this equal to be 1. I'll continue this as long as i is less than or equal to 3. Then increment i by 1. So I'm going to take this loop and stick it within the curly braces of the outer for loop. However, you don't want these loops to have the same index. A common naming convention for the inner loop is to use j as the counting index. j, j, j. J. Okay, let's take a look. Okay, now we count up to 10 three times. But what I think I'm going to do is that every time we exit the for loop, the inner for loop, I'll just print a new line character. Standard output. New line. Yeah, that's much better. So yeah, a nested loop is just a loop inside of another loop. Just as a practice project, let's create a program that will print a rectangle made out of symbols. We'll let a user specify how many rows and columns. We'll use our nested loop that we created previously. So we have int rows, int columns, then char symbol. We're going to ask for some user input. We'll need some prompts. Standard output, how many rows. Standard input rows. Let's copy this, paste it, change rows to columns, then enter a symbol to use. Standard input symbol. We'll continue printing rows as long as I is less than or equal to rows, whatever we typed in. We don't want any more rows than what the user wants. The inner loop is going to be in charge of the columns. J is less than or equal to columns. In place of printing J, let's print our symbol, whatever the user picked. And we do not need to separate these with any spaces. All right, let's try this. How many rows? What about three rows? Then six columns. Enter a symbol to use. What about the at sign? And there's our rectangle. There's three rows and six columns. Let's try it one last time. How about four rows and five columns? I'll use a dollar sign. Okay, we have four rows. One, two, three, four. Five columns. One, two, three, four, five. So yeah, everybody, that's a nested loop. It's a loop that's inside of another loop. When you'll use these, it really depends on the situation. I thought this would be a fun practice project. If you would like a copy of this code, I'll post this in the comment section down below. And well, yeah, those are nested loops in C++.